next guest grew up in the beautiful country of Belize. Her grandfather opened a small store in Belize City in 1955, which soon became a prominent supermarket and local institution known as Romax. Over the years, Tanya McNabb's family collected several authentic Be Belizean recipes, <laughs> many of which ended up in her book, Flavors of Belize, the cookbook. Welcome to Tanya McNabb, along with our good friend, Jaden Hare, who's going to prepare a dish from the book. All right, Tanya, you still live in Belize. Yes. Belize definitely. City? In Belize City, correct. And at this store that your grandfather started, you had a radio show out of there? Yes, we had a radio show. It was called the Belizean Cookhouse. And actually, that's where we got our, our original set of recipes for the cookbook. Now, it changed over the time. Um, while we were working on the book, different ideas, we got a lot of contributions from chefs. And so while we started there, it didn't exactly end with all those recipes, but definitely was the starting point for our cookbook. How would you describe Belizean cuisine? Um, very different um, from that of any other part of the world, I believe, specifically because Belize has welcomed a fascinating parade of immigrants from remote corners of the globe, from all over the world all in one small geography and we feel like that is what makes Belizean cuisine different from any other in the world is all the different cultures that have merged in this small country that we have mm -hmm. and all the the good you know f infused food is delicious it smells really really good in here yes. what, what is Jaden preparing and Jaden you can tell us what are you making well, over we're there we're gonna make a shrimp curry a, a, a Belizean Creole shrimp curry and Tanya's going to explain to you the difference between Louisiana Creole and Belizean Creole. There's a difference? Yes, Big Belize, difference. Definitely. Our <laughs> Belizean Creole is, um, is very different in that we use um, almost every part of the coconut in cooking. That's essentially what would make a dish Creole. Oh. So for example, um, here we're also we're using coconut oil as mm -hmm. well as coconut milk. And as a side dish, which Jaden has also prepared for us, we did a coconut white rice. We also have a lot of different recipes in the cookbook that uses coconut, our coconut pie. We have a Creole bread that is actually named that way because of the use of coconut milk in the recipe. And so the use of coconut um, is what makes our dishes essentially Creole. Okay, now Jaden, you have a tip though for buying coconut, yes. right? Yes, this is coconut milk. Uh -huh. And the, the tip that I have for you is to, how to tell good quality coconut milk is to shake the can. If the can sounds really watery, you know that most of it, What's in here is water, right. and if it sounds like it's slushing, like heavy liquid, then you know that it's good quality coconut cream inside of it. So go ahead and shake that, right. and you can see that yeah. it's it's thick. That's some good coconut That's milk. That's good there. coconut Definitely. milk. You know, a lot of people are, cook are cooking. I am too now with coconut oil, and uh, nutritionists are saying it's a really Absolutely. great oil to use. Absolutely. Absolutely. Definitely. It's good for your hair, good for your skin, it's good for your eyes. <laughs> you yes. gotta like that. So I remember, you know, years ago, people would say, "I'm going to." Belize and it was like this exotic land that very few people were, were traveling to and yes. now every second person I know is saying I'm going to Belize. Definitely. So Belize, the tourism industry has really grown um, over the years and it is our main industry in Belize. So we see visitors from all over the world. You know, some of them come back, some mm -hmm. of them, you know, some just come for a day on a cruise ship, some come for and a week. And some never leave, and right? some never leave. That's the reason we have all these great cultures in Belize, because many people came and they, they never left. They love Belize and they stayed there for various different reasons. You, uh, now you're putting some stock in there, Some Jane. stock. Yes. I've got some coconut milk in here, and mm. we're going to top it off with a little bit of cilantro. And literally, this, we've been on, we've been doing this segment for about five minutes. Right. Less than five minutes, mm -hmm. and it's almost done. That is wonderful. So we will try it in it's just very a minute quick. here very fast and you, you know you, this is like seriously a 15 minute meal very if nice that. and we are ready to have you guys try it i have to ask about belize city are you still in belize city is that where you live yes that's where we live how close is that to the beach just curious um everywhere in belize is very easy very to get to, the to beach. so it could be like a 15 minute car ride um, uh, sorry, a 15-minute plane ride or, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, or a boat ride. Okay, I've got Very to try easy. this. Very easy. Yes. i to try some of this right it's here. Delicious. So this is the Creole Belize this is style. Creole. It's our coconut curry. Mm. There's cardamom, mm. there's curry powder in it, and it's just incredibly different than anything that you've ever tasted. It's incredibly, incredibly fragrant. Delicious. Flavors yes. of Belize, the cookbook. That's the name of it, and it's beautiful. Tanya McNabb and uh, Jaden Harris. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank very you. Much. Thank you. For a chance to win a Flavors of Belize gift basket, go to daytimeonline.tv and click on Show Notes. The gift basket includes the Flavors of Belize cookbook, authentic wooden cutting board, showcasing about 12 different woods of Belize, gift box of a variety of Lizette's uh, secret sauces, gift box, and Traveler's Rum 2011-2012 of our Flavors of Belize magazine.